From its increasingly aggressive posture in the waters surrounding Taiwan to Chairman Xi's stated goal to unify with Taiwan, the malign actions of the Chinese Communist Party pose a clear and present danger. I've seen China's tactics firsthand. I recently led a uh, congressional delegation to Asia where I met with our Indo-Pacific Command, the Seventh Fleet, and leaders in Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan, including President Tsai. After I met with President Tsai, the CCP sanctioned me, a badge of honor as far as I'm concerned. In response to my delegation's visit and Speaker McCarthy's meeting with President Tsai, the CCP launched more than 70 aircraft into Taiwanese airspace and deployed 11 warships, including an aircraft carrier to encircle the island nation. The CCP is testing their capabilities and Taiwan's vulnerabilities in preparation for potential invasion. This will not intimidate us. In fact, it only strengthens our resolve to foster a more innovative defense industrial base that can develop and supply weapons for deterrence and, if necessary, for defense. After seeing Taiwan's defense capabilities firsthand, <clears throat> I can say that they're not where they need to be. Weapon sales I signed off on four years ago and the ranking member have yet to make it to Taiwan. President Tsai asked me, where are my weapons? I paid for them. The war in Ukraine has shown us that weapons are needed before, not after conflict erupts. Now more than ever, we need to work with our allies to counter this growing threat. The AUKUS partnership between Australia, the United Kingdom, and the United States is just that, and it will establish critical deterrence measures. 